All right, lesson, uh, we're ready for lesson 30. We're moving along very well. Practice sentences. This, for, uh, this is for the final lesson in the um, romance suffixes and a little taste of coffee. I'll help get my throat ready here for a great lesson with us. Here we go. Number one, the official was capricious in enforcing the law. That means he was unpredictable. Sometimes he would enforce it. Sometimes he didn't reinforce it. He was capricious. Number two, the subconscious can be beneficial or it can be unbeneficial. That means it can help us or it can hurt us. The subconscious, that's what goes below what we are aware of around us. Number two, the audacious plan is confidential. So somebody had a great plan um, and it took a lot of daring to do it, but it's confidential. We're not going to tell anybody about it or except just a few select people. Number four, the delicious cherries are very beneficial to our health. And that is true. Cherries are really healthy. Number five, it is crucial to be impartial when making a judicial decision. That means that it's important that we do not take sides when we make a judicial decision. In other words, our decision should be based strictly on the evidence, and we should not be partial to either person or whoever the judge is making a decision on. Okay, number six, the lion tamer was not afraid of the ferocious lion. He evidently had uh, the knew how to control the lion, and he was um, not afraid of him. Number six, it is essential to know celestial mechanics to put a person on the moon. That's why they're called rocket scientists. Uh, you have to know celestial mechanics, which was um, a science created by Sir Isaac Newton that allows us to predict the movement of heavenly bodies. Okay, um, number eight. The vicious criminal had a vexation had vexatious ambitions. So he was a criminal that was not a good person, and his ambitions were very dangerous. They were vexatious. Number nine, the brave explorer was both audacious and tenacious. In other words, he was willing to take great risk, and he was not willing to give up. He was tenacious. He stuck with his plan. Number 10, knowing how to read well is a precious and beneficial skill. And I think everybody would agree with that. It's precious and it's very beneficial. And I trust that as you work through beyond basic phonics, that your reading skills are going up, 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 up. And you'll see how very beneficial and how very precious they are. This is our, again, this is our last lesson. In the uh, romance suffixes, we've done prefixes and suffixes. So in the next lesson, we're going to start on the roots.